Hey, this is Kay Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Pine Pollen Superfoods and Train for Longevity. And what I'm about to show you are five kettlebell glute exercises that you can do immediately after watching this video. Now, the correct thing to do is obviously use proper execution and form, and that's what I'm going to go into. And I'm going to try to swat these bugs away. Please forgive the dogs barking in the background. I'm on location in Falls, Pennsylvania, in my old home. And that is where I'm at. And by the way, when you're using kettlebells, it's the really rusty ones like this that are the most manly. So if you can find some of these babies, you know you're doing the right thing. Okay, first exercise is going to be a goblet squat. Here's what it looks like. We're gonna straddle the kettlebell, push our hips back, grab the handle, pop it up to here. Now I like to hold it with my index fingers wrapped around the horns like this and my fingers pressed inward like this and the heels of my hands against the other side of the horns. That's the most comfortable fit for me. But you're welcome to just hold it like this or you can hold it like this or you can even flip it upside down and hold it like this. But the most important thing is that you keep it close to your chest and keep your elbows in by your rib cage. So I really don't care how you hold it, just make sure that it's secure and you're not overworking. Okay, cool. Now I'm going back to my original position, which is my personal favorite. Okay, index fingers up here. Now we're gonna stand with our feet, approximately shoulder width apart, about 15 degrees pointed out. Your toes will be 15 degrees pointed out. Now we're gonna keep our elbows in and we're gonna lower ourselves down as we look straight up at about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna take a big inhale. Drop your elbows inside your knees. Come up, squeeze your glutes. Inhale down. Inhale down. Exhale up, squeeze your glutes from a side angle. Big inhale down. Exhale up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay, that's exercise number one. And that is your goblet squat. Now, we're gonna do what's called a Cossack squat. Fashioned off of the Russian Cossack dance, which I can't do it. But um, Arthur Fonzarelli did it on an episode of Happy Days years ago where he was in a dance off and he was kicking his leg out to the side like this, back and forth. That's what this exercise is fashioned off of. It's called the Cossack squat. So we're gonna grab the kettlebell the same way we just had it. Now we're gonna space our feet wide apart like this. And what we're gonna do is turn our toes up and our heel into the ground as we lower ourselves down like this. Then we're gonna come up, turn this foot forward, turn this leg out. And then we're gonna simply alternate back and forth. And when you come up, squeeze the glutes right there. Inhale here, exhale on your way up. You can also hold the kettlebell down here as you do the caustic squat, which would be a little easier. You're also really gonna feel this on your inner thighs right here, also known as the adductors, okay? Cool, that's exercise number two. Third drill is going to be a drop lunge. So again, I'm gonna grab our kettlebell, pop it up to here, hold it, and any of those orientations I showed you earlier. Now we're gonna do is step back in an angle and drop down until our back knee grazes, well, it's grazing the grass for me, but if you don't have grass, just make sure that your knee hairs come close to the ground without your knee bouncing on the ground really hard because we don't wanna shatter our kneecaps, folks. That's very painful. Drop lunge, right here. Cool, that's number three. Now we're gonna go to a single hand and we're gonna hold it in our right hand like this and we're gonna do alternate reverse lunges. So you can step back to your right leg, step back to your left leg, holding the kettlebell in the right hand. You can also hold it in your left hand to do the same exact thing or you can do right hand, all right leg, all left leg, switch hands, all one side, all the other. And even still, you can hold your kettlebell up in this position and then do your reverse lunges from here. And by the way, by holding this kettlebell up here, I don't know if you can see my biceps flexing, but you get one heck of an arm workout at the same time. So you might want to do that to make it more integrative. Okay, now for our last drill, we're gonna do single leg Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna hold the kettlebell in our right hand. My right foot is gonna be planted into the ground, left foot is off the ground. And we're gonna lower the kettlebell down towards the ground as we hinge at the hips and lift our back leg up in the air like so. You can have a slight bend in this knee to take pressure off your back and off your knee, of course, too. I lost my balance there. So the, the kettlebell is in my right hand and I am planting my right foot. You can also do it this way, which will be a little challenge, more challenging than having the kettlebell in this hand. So you can have kettlebell in the opposite hand, opposite foot on the ground or vice versa. And you can also do this with two hands on the kettlebell, two, two feet on the ground, and come down and come back up for a regression if your balance isn't so hot. So 
there you have it. Those are five really good glute exercises with the kettlebell. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, always hit me up. And in the meantime, make sure to like our Facebook page, our Instagram page, and of course, our YouTube channel. And make sure to subscribe. Until next time, this is K-Rail reporting live from Falls, Pennsylvania.